Hi and welcome to my channel. In this first set of videos, I will be talking about GIMP, which is the General Image Manipulation Program. It is an image editing software. It's free and it's very, very powerful. And I've been uh, studying it for the past few years on and off. And, I've, and this first set of videos is to document the more salient points of what I've learned uh, for my own uh, benefit. But also, uh, those others can look at these videos to see what I have learned and hopefully to have a head start in learning this software. So to begin, we shall learn how to create a new brush. A new brush. Okay, uh, first we select file new and then we choose the width and height as 300, Y300 and the fill width we set as transparency. Alright, so then we click OK. And then we make sure that this uh, project, the mode is grayscale. Grayscale, alright, we have to use grayscale. Now, uh, we only use black and white for the uh, foreground and background color, uh, mostly black. Uh, so, as, as you can see, the paintbrush uh, tool is chosen. So, the brushes, we have a lot of brushes there. We can select any one. Uh, I shall use the star for a while, uh, the brush with the star, right, so we can actually uh, create brushes co with a combination of stars, right, we can set the opacity, we can set the size of the uh, star and then we just create a new brush with a lot of stars, okay, but of course, for now I won't be using stars, I'll be using uh, the standard round uh, brush you know, so I just delete that I just want to show you that it can be done you can actually put uh, different types of uh, brushes to create new combination of brushes Brushes. now let's see I I choose the standard brush then what I do is I put a few uh, a few dots of this standard brush I will reduce the opacity of uh, for some of these dots just to make it uneven right that, that's basically our choice uh, depending on what kind of brush you want but basically this is what you can do I can even put in stars if you want to don't do this don't even uh, yeah you see that at the bottom there there's halfway yeah I just delete that but you cannot, you're not supposed to do that. Okay, so you have all these nice dots. You can have actually different, different brush, star, uh, dots, or whatever, you, what have you inside that uh, list of yours. Okay, okay, so now it's done, so we must edit, file, uh, copy visible. Okay, so basically now, uh, we just create a new project, file new project, and uh, what happens is we give it a, a width and a height and fill width we give it as a background color now we have it right so as you go to back to the brush you notice that the brush image is actually and uh, we set to as gray scale there it is gray scale now for this new project we can set it as other than gray scale which we should we should set it as RGB now Remember just now we copy visible, now we edit, paste as, wait for it, paste as new brush. Alright, and the, uh, edit, paste as new brush. And the uh, dialog box will come out, all we have to do now is to give it a name. Alright, so basically, uh, where's the dialog box? Yes, and then we click one, we give it a name. I give it a name as one underscore test brush. After giving it a name and press OK, the brush will appear on the brush list on the right as you can see there so once it's appeared there already we can use it as we see fit okay click ok then there it is right there appearing just nice okay so now look at the strokes that we, we click and drag and click and drag it's very smooth why because the opacity we set to a very low value increase the opacity to 100 and there we have it but it's not a smooth line. Why? Because the spacing we set to a high value. 
set the spacing to 1 or 2, the value of 1 or 2. So, okay, once we set that and we click and drag and we have a smooth line. And if we don't want it to be so smooth, we can uncheck the smooth button. Now, wait, we, uh, we uncheck the smooth button now. Yes, and now we get a line that is not so smooth. Alright. Okay, so now basically because we create this brush in uh, grayscale mode, so if you click on the foreground color and choose a different color, uh, doesn't matter what color as long as it's colorful, we can have uh, can use the brush for a different color. But this is only possible if uh, previously you set the value as grayscale. Uh, you set the mode as gray scale okay now file new watch this 300 by 300 background color is transparency now let's create now like I said if you create brush you always make sure the image mode is gray scale but this time I'll choose RGB right just do what I want now watch this I choose a I choose a color and I choose a brush so I just create one two three four five right, that's all nice and good there's no harm right one two three and then after that we choose another color hang on huh? uh yeah Then we choose another color. Okay, so that's it. Uh, wait, I just don't like that. Yeah, you you must look like that. Yeah. So, edit, copy, visible. All right. And on this document here, edit, paste as new brush. New brush. You ask for name. Okay, I give it a name. Just brush color. Doesn't matter. See, I spread at 25. That's okay. There it is. It comes out here. See, test brush color. Yeah, one underscore test brush color. That's how it was. One underscore test brush. So if you color here, watch this. Like that, and you reduce the spacing again as normal. It comes like this. But notice that it's just a. Uh, Okay, can I have uh, uh, it, it doesn't matter, just, just some great big trash. Okay, now watch this, right? See that? The issue is, the issue is when you create the brush, you use this uh, four different colors, uh, different uh, tints of green and another red. So what happens is, if you do like this without using uh, brush dynamics, paint dynamics. Sorry, no matter what color you select, uh, let's use a red one. Uh, no, no, let's use a blue one. All right, it doesn't matter because it will still show you this color. All right, so what I'm trying to say is if you use color to create your brush and then when you create your brush you use uh, RGB instead of grayscale then the issue is you can't change the color of the brush however I want to show you something because uh, this time it's rules paint dynamics any brush you choose let's choose a brush uh, the one that we created okay I just choose from yours okay there's something called brush, uh, dynamics down here. Can you see it? There's also smooth stroke. I always stick smooth stroke because I want smooth stroke. But here, I can have no dynamics or whatever, and I can create my own. How do I create my own? Here, watch this. This is your dynamics. And inside your dynamics and title, you can click here. Then you can change the title or uh, the name. 
entitled uh, yes ah so like that right you create the name yeah see the name change but what's important was inside that same dynamic is this see I put random as uh, you know checkbox opacity is random size is random color is random okay not color random but uh, hardness is random alright just do that first now watch this you see ah uh, it says that angle is also random uh, angle is also random yeah so watch this oh yeah sorry Flash. okay watch this see that yeah that's what happened notice this color is uh, kind of purple right you can see the behind is kind of purple okay now watch this okay let's say I, I don't put anything okay watch just like that see you don't see the purple but if you put the size hardness let's see what happens see and uh, angle also actually you should make it random yeah see when I put the angle random see what happens the, the this line is like very straight like that but this one is like like a bush or something so it's very useful when you create want to create bushes and all that you can always you know use this method instead of having to paint one by one but notice the purple the purple is like behind it and watch this if inside the uh, paint dynamics color I take it let's see what happens watch see what happens it's the purple and the black and white see what I mean color random you put like that now let's change it maybe I change it to red Only if I put color as random. Okay, uh, let's talk about uh, brush uh, dynamics. Okay, uh, let's say you have a brush, and that's okay. Just have a brush, no problem. Uh, we can change the color. Everything is okay. No, no, no big deal. All right. Let me just change the color. Okay. So brush dynamic goes like this. It goes down here. What happens is there are a few uh, that are the one that I use most is fade tapering fade tapering what's that that okay after you choose brush dynamics you can actually uh, let's say fade tapering you can choose here right fade length and also here uh, none watch what happened now see that so in other words you can uh, choose a lot of uh, uh, any, anything you want. I mean, there's a a few. Uh, what do you call that? A few uh, uh, dynamics that you can uh, show. I mean, from here you can see dynamics also. You can select here. And if you don't have this window, you need to go to here. Windows to uh, Windows Dockable Dialogs and look for. Um, Paint dynamics, all right. Paint dynamics. Uh, my paint brushes. All right. Okay. So, paint dynamics editor. It's this one. Okay. So, you can actually uh, say you don't have this, all right? And you don't have this, all right? So, what you do is go to Windows. Uh, paint dynamics. Yeah. There you go. And edit dynamics. You got this box. You see that? Alright. So, let's say uh, I create my own. No dynamics. What happened? I have thing empty. And I have also this another one. But how do I do it? I press here. I press here. Oh no, sorry. This is if you want to edit the dynamics. But uh, you can press here. Create new dynamics. Then you can call it Super Dynamics. Wow, super. Then you can do whatever you want. Alright, click. Okay, that's it done so over here you got super dynamics right there see so it's quite simple to create dynamics now what is not so simple is to understand what's going on here so to understand here I can talk all day about this but if you're free you have if you're interested in a uh, game look at this velocity tapering for example then look at this 
thing here. Look, it's just these two. Let's see what happens. See that? Ah, so, velocity tapering. So, you, in that case, you understand what is the... Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. So, you understand what is the two... Uh, what, uh, what happens if you put these two here. See, you just use your... Uh, you have to put your thinking cap on and, uh, you yeah, know, think about it. No, uh, this kind of thing, I believe we don't need to... Uh, have to teach you uh, all the way now. I mean, it's quite, quite, uh, quite a long-winded thing. So anyway, uh, oh, if you use tilt or something, try to use another type of brush like this one, for example. Okay, all right. So yeah. So any any other brush, see the effects. Sometimes if you just use this one, you cannot see the effect very well. Like what is random color? Random uh, color. You put random color. So let's see what happens. See that? The color comes from these two. See that? Yeah. Random color. Uh, Alright. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, like I said, the only way to create uh, dynamics, you just click here. Create a new dynamic. And then after that, you can edit it. Uh, let's say you select one and you can edit or you can just click here no or yeah basically you can also delete uh delete the dynamics where was mine just now uh mm. okay actually you just click here and click the x lah. and you can see that it's been created out because this is this comes with the software so i'm looking for my super dynamics and now i create where is it? Where is it? I can't seem to see it right now. There. So I can just click here and delete because I don't need it yet. So anyway, that's how you create dynamics. Alright? Okay, and I say again, explore. Those that are already here, ex look at it and try to understand what it's trying to do. Alright? Okay. Okay, so uh, I covered uh, create cust creating custom brush. Then I, uh, I covered... Uh, dynamics so yeah so that's uh that's about it but anyway as a last word remember every time you select a brush doesn't matter brush there are some uh, things like size aspect ratio angle aspect ratio and angle so the angle of the brush you know and spacing but the most important thing is this the hardness hardness and size is more important uh there's also smooth you all, most of the time i use smooth I must uh, uh, click here. Sometimes I use apply jitter just to get a, you know, look at that, the brush that is a little bit jittery. But usually I use move more. Uh, lock brush to view. No, never mind. Don't worry about that. So I don't even know what that means. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, usually you put a smooth stroke. You put high because I tend, uh, you know, it's easier to draw lines if you do that, if you use smooth stroke. All right, so we have reverse all this. This one is if you have fit tapering, then then works. But uh, I don't worry about now. What's the color form region? So yeah, that's uh, that's another dynamic that I would use. Anyway, uh, so uh, okay. In that case, uh, thank you very much for listening. Okay, bye.